here four speaking warm-ups activities or games they are gonna make your ESL classes a little bit more fun I made sure that these four activities are so easy to do cause I feel yet you follow teachers being a teacher takes up all of your time so I am here to save some of your precious time and at the same time help you have great classes all of these games were tried and tested in many of my classes and students got really engaged so let's dive in the first activity so the number one is you can see it's alternate ending now pick some famous stories or tales like the story of the Cinderella Snow White any popular fiction write the title or cars or you can stick to any one story for all up to you and ask the students to pick one if you have small class then students better work individually but if not then divide them into pairs or groups then explain to them that they have to come up with an alternate ending to the story this will require students to review the whole story in english this time and use their imagination to come up with a new and different ending to the story so instead of cinderella getting married to prince charming and living happily ever after students need to expand their creative skills and imagine the same story however with an ending all their own i remember a student told the class that cinderella was actually a feminist and refused the friend's proposal you will be amazed by how creative students can get this it's a funny activity and all you go to do just write some titles on cards The second one is commercial time. Pick random stuff from around the classroom or pre-choose them before going into the class stuff like pens, staple, purse, mugs, tea bags, lipsticks. Literally any item will do the trick. Put them in a bag and ask each student to do take an item without looking and don't explain anything to them. Let them curious tell the students that you are the owner of a big company that produces this particular product and you need to advertise it. What would you say? How would you describe it? What do you do to convince the consumer to buy it? Let them know about homophone, rhyme, catchy phrases and slogans. This is a really good live activity. Third one is role plays. Role plays is a great way to prepare students to use English in real world scenarios. I'm pretty sure you know how this activity works. You give each pair of students a conversation topic we have to come up with. A dialogue gives them enough time to discuss and prepare. I'm going to share some fun everyday dialogues that have been using with my students. The first one is the setting of a phone call between two friends and phoning a friend inquiring about a job position. The second one is at a store, a mother and a daughter and they shopping for a dress for a birthday party. This one is a pretty good actually. The third one is more practical on interviewer with an interviewee and the topic is obviously a job interview. The fourth one is my favorite and the two neighbors sipping coffee together in the morning and gossiping. The fifth one is so funny, a father and a son or a mother and a daughter whatever and like one of the parents teaching math to their child. This, the last one is between a driver and a passenger and the topic is to give direction. Now the last activity is two words for two minutes. Let me explain. You will distribute some cards that has two or three words maximum like these. Ask the students to talk about it uh, for two minutes non-stop and set a timer for them. I think it's challenging in terms of fluency and I love it because it encourages the students to communicate the meaning rather than how many mistakes they make in grammar, pronunciation and vocabulary. I believe fluency is important and in this particular activity students are not only practicing fluency but also expressing their own ideas on different topics if there are low levels give them some time to prepare or they can do it at home and present it at next class but with higher levels allow to do minutes preparation time and they should do it on the same day that's pretty do teachers i know 
you are awesome and you got a bunch of other activities but i hope i added something fun inspiring in these thanks you for your time and i hope so you are just great being a teacher thank you so much lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel also like and share this video and press the bell icon for more notifications